the first thing you did when you got back today? Uh, I went to sleep last night. <laughs> a little jet lagged. Uh, it was exciting though. You know, it's uh, it's been a long road, and uh, I'm absolutely happy that you know where I'm at. I think everything worked out great, and uh, I'm excited to move forward. There were some reports. I know this didn't come out of your mouth, but that you weren't happy being here, and it was time for a change of scenery, et cetera. Can you just address that? You know, uh, something that's real important to know is just there's the business side of football. You know, I'm primarily a player, and I have an agent to do some of the other stuff. And so when it comes out or the stories or whatever else, it's positioning. You know, it's business to business. And all I can say is that I'm happy to be here. I'm excited to play football. I'm ready to work. But Alex, is all the turnover and the constant chain since you've been here did that has that worn on you uh i mean absolutely you don't want to see tra- change in turnover it's just it, you know there's a lot going on uh to be said of that you know I, like I, I addressed earlier you know jimmy aslam did a great job of you know taking a lot of heat and changing around the building and you know making some moves but it shows that he cares it shows he's ready to take some heat to make the decisions he thinks he needs to make so that's that's exciting that's a real a good way to look at things. But still, I mean, you didn't you didn't think Chud was going to get fired, did you? No, I didn't. But, you know, things happen, and, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a tough game. Alex, if you're happy to be here, wanted to be here, why not just sign the transition? Just take that for a year. Uh, I mean, that was totally an option. And uh, I think I'm happier how it's worked out now. Because? Well, it just uh, in terms of, you know, what you want in the contract and business side of things, uh, you know, it's, it's tough, and... We would have covered that, we would have been here, we would have worked hard with that. Did the trip that Jimmy and Mike and Ray made to California, did that change your thinking about this organization at all? Uh, it was a really good trip. You know, they came out and made a lot for me to have them all show up and, you know, bring a real strong front. That was an exciting time. And, uh, you know, I was excited about where this building was going, but, you know, still there's business out of here. Alex, you've been here long enough to see all kinds of methods tried to, to rebuild, you know, going young, veterans, et cetera. What do you think of what they've tried to do this offseason? I think uh, we have a really good core group of guys. I think we have a lot of talent on this team, and it, it was exciting to think about coming back here and seeing where we could build from there. You know, we had a, a, a good good group of guys last year, a lot of real tight games, and so to think about how close you were and just, you know, build upon that into this year, I'm excited. What do you think of when you were hit with the transition tag? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, we had to go to, I think everyone had to go onto Wikipedia and start looking up what that was. <laughs> but, I mean, after I re- realized it, what it was, I mean, it was, it was an interesting time and it definitely made it a, a, a long and interesting offseason. How, de- how would you describe the whole last month? Is it enjoyable at all? Was it taxing on you? Uh, I, I will say I'm relieved that it's behind me. You know, it's uncertainty and where you're going to be at, those kind of things. It wears on you a bit, so I'm, I'm very happy to have it behind me, and I'm excited for it. Don't you think that the transition tag turned out to be better for you than the franchise tag? Because with the franchise tag, you would have been left either played out or just negotiate probably with the Browns. This way, they had to come through for you, and now you got the wrong That argument could be made. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very astute. Uh, I think I'm happy how things worked out. I think uh, both sides are things are looking good. You're happy, but was there a part of you when it started that said, I've been through enough here, I want to look around and see what else I can get? Uh, I'm just going to say I'm happy with how things are. Alex, why was it important for you to, to have a deal uh, constructed so you can get out uh, after two years? Uh, it gives me a lot of power as a player, which is exciting. Uh, that's... A, Something that may happen may not happen. You know, two years from now, it's a whole different story, and you can ask me that question. Then. Do you want do you want to see them some stability then in these next two years to to see it's not going to be the same thing over and I over? I think everybody over. wants some stability. You know, uh, everyone's on the same page. Is everyone wants to show up here, work hard, win games, and so I think everyone's working towards that goal, and let's see that happen. Alex, is, what? Is, the, is the end result the, the contract you signed? Is it? a lot different than where things were left in like October last year when you guys were talking? Uh, you know, it's, it's been a long road and a lot of talks. Uh, my agent has definitely uh, been working hard for me, and I'm, I'm very grateful for the work they do. Alex, your initial thoughts on Mike Pettin as your head coach? Uh, you know, I've had you know, pretty much only two opportunities to really interact with him now, and it's been real positive. I like when you when came out to flew to California. When you flew out to California, had a really good, strong message there. I was excited today in the team meeting. You also 
was a, good to see him in the uh, the workplace environment. Is there something that needs to happen in the next two years for you to stick around for the final three? Uh, yeah, I want to win games. I'm here to work hard, and that's, a, that's what we're all about. Uh, that's the question for two years from now. So How involved just, were you personally in the <coughs> things like the two-year out in the contract itself? Was that you? My, in sand, or was your agent doing that? There was a lot of work that I'm, on my agent's behalf. You know, that's why I hire an agent. I'm not an agent. I'm a football player. So I had to really trust them to do a lot of work and put me in the best position and look out for my interests. And, you know, it's, it was a, a group thing, but on the same hand, uh, I'm really happy with work with them. Alex, is it safe to say without that transition tag, you would not be back here? No, I don't think that's that's at all. Uh, you know, it was going to be a discussion no matter what. You know, they came out to California and they had a real like, strong argument, and it was going to be you know a tough choice in front of me. And the transition tag made it just more interesting, but still tough. Jimmy Haslam has one led us to believe that he wanted to leave your house with a deal. Did you feel the hard sell being put on you? Is that why you held off? Uh, it was exciting. You know, they came out there and. You know, talk football and kind of got to know me a bit, and I got to know them. And you know, we left that meeting with some discussions happening, and you know, agents. And then there were discussions had after the meeting that led to a transition. You had to find it out that they brought their captain contract guy with them. Didn't you? Yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> are you part of the Austin program now, or are you going to stick around and do that? Yeah, I was through the old house. I mean, I, I have an office that I've worked to put in. Did you have any reaction to some chatter about geez, he's leaving the Browns maybe for Jacksonville? They can't draw it. They have one point uh, nine move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were saying, what's the uh, you know, Jacksonville that you know they brought me out and I had a really good visit. I was excited to see what they brought. And it was uh, you know, when I signed the contract, I had to be okay with the way it went, you know, and it's a tough part of the game, it's a busy side of things and yeah. Were there other teams that were not really interested in the Uh, yes. Can you? I'm not going to go into it. Yeah. Because it looked like Indy was for a while. There was some teams that we were talking to and trying to get some like, things going. And, you know, it's behind us and I'm happy to be around You always like to do some traveling in the offseason. Where'd you go cool this year? Uh, I was actually able to go to Machu Picchu and we'll see uh, Peru a little bit. And then uh, Gary Barnage had his uh, AFWB camp in Brazil. So we flew out there and did some uh, coaching of little Brazilian kids <laughs> with him. And it was really fun. We had a really good time. What you touched on it a little bit. You said you just want to win. What overall gives you the feeling that, that this franchise can finally turn their ground? What have you seen? You know, I, I know the players that are on this team. I know like the talent we had last year. I know how close we were, and it was really exciting last year. And I think about that, and build upon that, and then for some things to change, and the, like a new coach. But they came out and had a really good business. They had a really good plan. You know, they knew what they were talking about. And there was you know, a lot of excitement and fire. And so you could think about we have great players. I like where this offense is going. I think I think good things. Two more guys. You now have a uh, highest paid center in the NFL attached to your name. Is that a point of pride for you? I would say yes. <laughs> I'm excited about that. I mean, it, I, I work hard, and I mean, I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, it's exciting. I'm happy. Do you think you'll be snapping to a rookie quarterback? Uh, we need to get one, <laughs> if that's the case. Uh, you know, those are future future things happen in the draft. We'll see what happens. Uh, you know. Ryan Hoare did a good job last season. We'll see what he can do and how he comes back, and you know, we'll see what happens. All right, thank you.